What's up you guys, it's Sarah, and I have another unboxing video for you. Today we will be unboxing Lit Joy Magical Subscription Box. Fantastic Beasts. here don't forget to like to comment subscribe join this wolf pack I have to warn you this fantastic creatures isn't my strong suit just to warn you but never fear we are wearing a Hufflepuff hat to go with the mood and if you know where this comes from I'm a Hufflepuff you know <laughs> see this cute little guy. He looks just like an owl, but he has a creature name that I don't understand. Here's a Niffler with a necklace, because he's a thief. And we have a few bow truckles, and I think this is a moon calf. Look at those big blue eyes. And I'm sorry, this is going to be wrong, but is that like a Zawu or something like a Zawu? We got a Thunderbird with Queenie on the side. Uh, Thunderbird is also an Ilvermorny house. That is actually my Ilvermorny house. I'm a Thunderbird. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna butcher this one. All I can remember is like the last part and it's like rumpus. I'm sorry. It's a rumpus. <laughs> and we have Jacob with another Niffler. These mischievous Nifflers. And then on this side, we got an Akami. We got another Niffler and Tina. Alright, and on the bottom, we have Nagini. She's already transformed into her snake form up to about right here. That's pretty cool. Let's get into it. Alright, I know last time we did... Oops. I know the last time we did, like, um... They're the box first and the add-ons last. So this time, I think we should do the add-ons first since I only got two. I was looking at the pins originally to get, but I decided that I just wanted the keys. So we got this Circus Arcanus, a stunning collection of amazing creatures from all over the world. So this is our wonderful cheat sheet. Ooh, coming next, Legends and Lore. That's the next theme. Ooh, that looks so good. All right, put this to the side since no spoilers. We got our keys. Whoa, look at that chunky boy. <laughs> that one, thick. Ooh, no, put that away. I don't want to see any spoilers. We'll start with the smaller one. Which one are you? And they said that the Jacob one is going to smell like a bakery, so I cannot wait. This Alohomora collection has been terrific. I love the keys. You have coin collectors and then you have key collectors. I am a key collector. Woo! The Wizarding Bank. Goblin access card. It's one of the little things you could put on your key ring. Wizarding Bank Galleon? I'm gonna make sure to get all these cool close-ups for y'all. And then we have the super cool dragon on this key. Whoa. That's cool. And it also has a G on like the, um, what is that, um, the teeth of the key, it has a G on it for Gringotts. That's really cool. I love the detail on it. It's a big one. But let's try out the big one. And we have a magical little sticker for the passports. I don't collect like the passport stickers and that book, but that's cool. 
Alright, let's- whoa, look at this thing! This thing is huge. Let's see if we can have a pre-smell. Not yet. Oh, you're shaky shaky though. What? We got another passport sticker. Fancy confections. This cool thing. Ooh, and- <gasps> Woo! You pull it up, and there's- What is that? Oh, bagels! That is amazing. The bakery- Woo! Look at this little guy. Look at that cute little niffler. <laughs> I love it. It's so cute and squishy. Skis. Krawalski's Bakery. Ooh! It's a golden key! Quality baked goods, it says on the back. It's an amazing key. I like it. Two great keys. Back to the box. As we open it. <gasps> oh, Nerd Scamander. Socks. I'll take it out of the wrinkled Pringles, so I apologize. Oh, get out. Get out. Ow. Swoosh on the floor, and I will pick that up. With your socks. Ooh, they're nice and warm. They're so cute. Good start. Oh my god. Look at that! Look at that little head! Hello! <laughs> oh, look at him! It's a Niffler! <laughs> look at him, guys! Oh! Oh! You have something in your pouch, you little thief! Gosh, he's so cute. I think he's gonna sit by your tree. But yes, this is the second item. He is so cute. I love him! What should we name him? That's something that I've never seen in the box. Like, a stuffed animal niffler. That's actually like one thing that I like really wanted. Because I love nifflers. They're so cute! Alright, we're on to this magical coin. Finally, I got that pouch open. Whoa. And the spell is Expelliarmus! Yeah! And we have the wand movement. Expelliarmus. Oh, oh, we're gonna get some good up close video of this. Look, I had to wrestle this thing. <laughs> Shall we take another lucky dip? Newt's case. What? We're gonna need to move this. It is a, a Russian doll. It's when they oh, got this beautiful thestral. And then you open it. Isn't that pretty? On the inside. And then there's something smaller. There's a moon calf on this one. So cute. A Demi Guys. Demi Guys. Demi Guys. He was also on the box that I forgot to mention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, just gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Got this cute niffler. What is our... Oh! <laughs> of course. Our smallest little one is a bow truckle. How cute. I love... See? Another thing in a box that I've never seen before. I've never seen a Russian doll set. That's amazing. That's awesome. It's gonna be a great collector's piece on a shelf. I'm so excited to have this in my collection. It's cool, I love it. 
So we're down to a few more pieces. Oh, I don't want to get in that box yet. But we got Lit Joy Wand Shop started in 2016. Look how awesome that is. And that foiling. Well, you can't really see it, but that foiling though. Woo! And this magnet. This is really cool. Take off this. Come on! Look at that serpent. That is amazing. I love this one. Lit joy, yes, this is great. And the last of the boxes. Hmm? Oh no! Lit joy exclusive teapot? What? It's like an alchemy. Look at that little bug. I saw their teacups. And they look really, really cool. Is this a teacup? Is this, you're, you're joking, right? You're pulling my... No, you're not. Look how cool this is! Y'all! This is so cute! I've never seen this in a subscription box. Like, that's so cool. Look at it. Did the alchemy chasing a bug? And in there, your liquids come out. That is so beautiful. Like, <laughs> lit joy. What are you doing to me? Like, <laughs> no. I don't know how to feel. This is amazing. The coloring on it is beautiful. Oh, I love it. This is gorgeous. It's just, I can't get enough of it. And I'm so glad I gave them another shot. I'm really happy. All right. We have another photo strip. Let's get this bad boy out. Or you can just split it down the sides, you know. Whatever you want to do. There's another passport sticker. Oh, is this Newt? Hogwarts Newt and Lita. I think that's her name. Look at this. That is so cute. <laughs> Ugh. I wish they ended up together. I wish. They were so cute. And we have a print. Really well done. I feel like every time I look at this, it's like gonna move in some way. Like the alchemy is just gonna make a circle and he's gonna use his wand like this. That's awesome. I love this. One of the most beautiful ones of the bunch. And then last but not least, we got a Lunicorns Live Among Us. This is instructions on how you can join the Lunicorns. So, great box. Let's get a closer look. Let's go over the cheat sheet. And then we'll discuss the favorites. All right, let's discuss this cheat sheet. All right, our first one is Expelliarmus Collectible Coin. Practice your charms and spells with our magical coin collection designed by at Maggie Rose Studio. Each magical crate will feature a different spell or charm coin and its corresponding wand motion. This coin measures 1.75 inches in diameter and is an ant antique brass color. My goodness. I read and I couldn't keep up. The Disarming Charm, Expelliarmus, is a common spell used in duels to force whatever an opponent is holding. 
often a person's wand, to be expelled out of their hands. No one really knows who created the charm, but some historic claims that perhaps it was Merlin himself. Either way, this handy charm is most known for being Harry's signature spell and notably causing the death of he who must not be named himself. Woohoo! The Alchemy Teapot. Get ready to pour yourself a nice spot of tea and share it with your favorite wizard friends. This gorgeous teapot was illustrated by independent artist at Bambicon. I'm sorry if I. Bambicon? And features the alchemy. A plumed, two legged, serpentine bodied creature with wings. That's cool. All right, we got a plush Niffler. Hide anything shiny because this magical burrowing creature is sure to find it. With a long snout and a coat of black fluffy fur, this adorable Niffler will be the perfect addition to your plush creature collection. So cute. Just be careful because he's also a skillful escape artist. If you can't find him, Check the nearest bank or jewelry shop and be sure to check in his little pouch. You never know what you might find there. This creature, this treasure hunting beast measures eight inches tall. He's a cute little baby. All right, the Nagini wand. You don't have to speak parcel tongue to use this Nagini wand. Inspired by the snake herself, this wand will be a unique addition to your collection. It is made from resin with a metal core, aka horn serpent horn, and comes in a gorgeous Lit Joy wand shop box. And just in case you're worried about the side effects from using dark magic, the blue serpent slithering up the wand is not a horcrux. Photo strip that's new suitcase. We are so excited to share the latest magical photo strip with you. Imagine with us when Newt and Lita attend school together. Ever the beast lover, the Hufflepuff loves his many creatures, but is careful to keep them safe and hidden away. Even when the cute Lita gets curious and can see that he's up to something. At Sarah Con Conradson has illustrated this Interaction adorably. Newt's scarf socks. Aside from the suitcase, Newt Scamander's coat and scarf are as iconic and, and recognizable as the Weasley's red hair. These socks were patterned after Newt's scarf not only as a tribute to his unmistakable look, but to celebrate his Hufflepuff heart that is hardworking, patient, and accepting to all embellished with Newt's monogram, designed by at J. Scott Clausen. These crew socks will help, well, these crew socks will, gosh, <laughs> these crew socks will keep you warm as you search for your own fantastic beasts. That's beautiful. Oh, they're not Russian dolls, they're nesting dolls. Whoops. Fantastic creatures nesting dolls. Don't we all wish we could store as much in our suitcase as Newt does? These nesting dolls aren't bewitched with an undetectable extension charm like the suitcase, but they do feature five different fantastic creatures that fit into each other like magic. Feature, featured beasts include the Thestral, Mooncalf, Demigeist, Niffler, and Bowtruckle. The dolls are painted in, ma in a matte finish with artwork by at L. Rich Richelor Richelor Art. I'll put that down here. All right. And the Fantastic Creatures theme art print. You asked for it. You got it. Here it is again. Always a favorite. The spellbinding and wonderful theme art created by independent artist at David. Ort illustration has been turned into an art print for you to display. We can't wait to see how you choose to show it off. 
but whether on your wall or on your shelves, be sure to share with us. All right, we even got a description for the add-ons. Wizard's Bank Key. You don't have to break into the vault to get your hands on some galleons. This collectible key was inspired by the gold and the dragon found on a galleon. Each key comes with a coin charm that you wouldn't want to trade for all the sickles and knucks in the world. Kowalski Bakery Key. Join us at 443 Rivington Street, New York home of the best non-magical specialty cakes and pastries. Now that you have a key, you can come and go as you please to enjoy these delectable beast-shaped delights. Shaped like an adorable mini rolling pin. This was designed at Amelia underscore B83. B83. Wow. All right. Let's discuss our favorite. All right, that is the box. Man, I feel like I'm tongue-tied or like dry. Ugh. Sorry, I did not read that well this time. But what are my favorites? I have to choose. But I can't choose. Honestly, I'm glad that I gave LaJoy another shot. It was well worth the wait. And I cannot wait for a Legends and Lore. Oh, I even forgot to put the keys in the frame. Whoop! But I hope you liked this video. Make sure to like, to comment, subscribe, join the Swolf Pack, and I'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.